Greetings, John and Shahar and Christina and Trevina. My name is Tom Steller, and I'm a pastor at Bethlehem Baptist Church in Minneapolis and the Dean of Bethlehem College and Seminary. And it's just my privilege to greet you and to want to do anything I can to encourage you as you are studying intermediate Greek grammar and especially the, the wonderful skill of sentence diagramming. I began diagramming sentences back in 1980 and I can honestly say that it's been one of the most valuable tools for me to look carefully at the Word of God. It forces me to ask how every single word um, forms into a meaning that I can then cherish and live out for the glory of God. So I want to introduce you to our class today and show you some clips of our guys diagramming and uh, also maybe they'll have a few words to say as well. God bless you. So we could see. Me, Allah for sure should go here because me isn't a conjunction. So in that sense, you you accept. Diagramming's helped me because it's made me ask questions I wouldn't normally ask of a text. When I am having to figure out how each genitive relates to what it's modifying or how uh, an adverb's playing off a verb, it's making me ask questions I wouldn't normally ask, and that helps me get a deeper understanding of the text. When I first saw diagramming, I was really skeptical. But what I enjoy about it is that if we really believe that every word of God is inspired, it forces you to account for every word and how they all work together to go towards what Paul's trying to say or what the New Testament is trying to say in that passage. You know, I've had over 10 years of the preaching ministry, and honestly, diagramming was one of the hardest things that I had to really get my hands on with Greek. But the longer that I've been diagramming, it's been helping me ask questions that I never asked before and helping see things that I never saw before. Hey, how you all doing? My name is Lewis. I'm uh, one of the third year guys here at the seminary, you know, working through uh, the Bible arc and, and all of that good stuff. And just want to encourage you all to keep on going, keep on pressing. Some of the good things that it's done for me has um, it's allowed me to slow down in the reading of the text and to be able to really kind of hang over everywhere to see how they all fit together and what the scriptures is actually saying to me. So I really want to encourage you all to uh, get through, keep pressing through some of the difficulty of it and, and uh, keep going because you'll find the benefit of it. Mostly I think would be just to slow you down so you see exactly what's in the word. Diagramming was really hard at first, but it's actually done two different things for me. First, it's helped me to place the Greek words in context so I know that I'm actually preaching what the author said. But second, it's helped me think through how am I going to say it in my own language, because that's the second part I need to be able to do is communicate it back to someone else. So diagramming has been super helpful that way. Studying Greek in my second year has been so helpful in um, especially translating Paul's letters. It's always been helpful to get me closer to the text. Um, translating, for instance, John or Mark, it gives me a deeper understanding, but when you go into second year Greek and you learn the different nuances of different words, it helps you understand so much more so that you can understand the translator's reasoning, if nothing else, why they put it this way. That's great. And Rosemary, how old are you again? I'm 15. 15. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, diagramming is difficult to say the least, but one of the things that I appreciate about the discipline is that it's helped me to actually handle the language in a, in a manner that's more faithful to the gospel. It's helped my parsing, it's helped my, um, my ability to understand how words make sentences and in turn how sentences make complete thoughts and ideas. So keep at it, it's difficult but it pays off the more. Uh, it's helped me to learn the Greek better by asking questions and really investigating each word and seeing how a participle could mean so many different things and how it matters to ask the questions in a given passage. What, um, what does it mean? Is it um, showing time? Is it uh, an adverb? Is it uh, substantive? And it really does change the meaning of a sentence. Um, 
So it's just, it's helped me to become more familiar with Greek in general, so I can ask questions when I'm formally diagramming or arcing that I can also ask when I'm just reading and not formally diagramming, but the diagramming has helped me to know what kinds of questions to ask. I think I would say work on it for fun, not just for homework. Pick a passage in the New Testament that that you can know is not going to be too challenging as far as the syntax um, or vocabulary and just um, do it for fun for five minutes a day. Uh, do it till you get frustrated and then put it aside and um, pray over it as you do it. After you diagram or arc a passage, pray through it and just um, allow God to help open your eyes to see what you just opened up. Diagramming for me has been one of the most frustrating things at, during my education. I am not naturally gifted in grammar. It's very, very difficult and tedious for me. But just the other day, after maybe 12 weeks doing it, um, we were working on Ephesians, and it just opened up in a way that I've never seen before. And I know without a shadow of doubt that that would have never happened unless I diagrammed. And so it, it warmed my heart, and it showed me something about God that I was totally misunderstanding Him, and it changed my life. And so hold on, those gems will come, and so keep at it.